Ah, what a nice, tidy office. Brilliant! Oh yeah, right. I spent pretty much most of my time, if not all of my time, in this one little room. You can see it's not, not huge. And I've got to fit my office, my computers and everything into there, as well as my uh, drawing desk, my graphics tablet, my guitars, my scanner, it's down there. All of that into my room, as well as my bedroom, this is my my living room, this, this is where I spend my entire life and there's just not enough room. So every so often it's a case of turf everything over onto the bed and then go through it bit by bit until uh, I've got the room back into some semblance of order. Which is a pain, but it's got to be done. I'm gonna try and see if I can narrow a lot of this stuff down so that uh, I can actually, <laughs> I actually have some chance of living in here, which is what this is for. Um, and I've also got like a shed that I can store some stuff in, so some of it will go up into there, but yeah, I've got to figure all that out. It's gonna be fun. I haven't got anywhere to put my scanner. Um, so uh, that's, that's difficult. I might just put it up here for the time being. So just in case you've ever wondered, this is my, my setup. I've got my big main rig sat up here. That's the big all singing, all dancing beast of a computer. Uh, three monitors. I've got this computer here. We just plug into that monitor. <laughs> I only have that computer for two reasons. That's my old one. It's pretty good. It's not brilliant, but it's, it's not bad. Um, the only reasons I've got it is because all my music is on this one. It's all on here. And it would take about 24 hours for it to transfer from there to here. So I just kind of, I have to kind of get around to doing that at some point. I don't really know when. But also, and this is the real pain, even if I did manage to transfer all of my music from this machine to this machine, which, you know, there's only about a meter in between them, shouldn't be too difficult, but apparently it is. I still need that computer for my scanner. That scanner does not pick up on this computer. There are no drivers at all for Windows 8 for this scanner, or 8.1. So I have to use that computer whenever I scan anything, which is ridiculous. So I've got to figure out, I've got to keep this in here, but I have nowhere to put it. Because this is where I do a lot of my drawing and stuff, is on this desk, I shift it across here. So that if I put it on there, it's going to be a pain in the ass. But I haven't, there's nowhere else to put it. My kettle's up there, so I can't put it up there. Fridge down there, can't go under there. I'm completely out of ideas. And there is so much crap up here. I think what I'm going to do is start by moving all the things that I know need to stay around, like guitars and uh, clothes, and hopefully uh, we can uh, narrow down this pile of junk. I mean, some of this stuff might actually go into the shed, like the arrows and stuff, I can't see them being used over the winter, but uh, yeah, we'll just move it out of the way for a minute and then hopefully we'll get uh, we have to see where we are. So now I've got to figure out which guitars I'm going to keep down here. So I think definitely going to keep this one, keep the electric here. And then uh, I'm not sure. I want to keep one of the acoustics. The ukulele can go away, but I want to keep one of the acoustics. That's the smallest one. So that would take up the least room. That one's got the most sentimental value because that's the that's my first guitar. Well, the first acoustic guitar it was a it was a present from a friend, and that is just a really nice sounding when it's in tune. Yeah, that's not in tune. Um, <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna put those three into the shed partly because this one has a case and that will get rid of the case as well so I think I'll save the most room if I get rid of those three and just keep the electric and this one and tune that one 
<sighs> well, I'm pretty much done with the, the tidying lark now. It doesn't, doesn't look much improved, but there is a lot more room in here now, so that's that's better. But whilst doing it, I came across a couple of things that I've got which um, are cool. It's one of the nice things about tidying up. You find stuff that maybe you've forgotten about or something, and uh, I've actually found two of the coolest things that I own whilst I was tidying up, so I thought I'd share them with you. Um, first one is this. This might look like any old uh, bullet casing, uh, but this one's a particularly special one. I um, was walking on a beach in Dorset and uh, came across this one by an old pillbox. And after doing a little bit of research into it, there's a serial number on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little number on the bottom. 20 millimeter, 1942, and some other letters on there which dictate what it actually is and we actually found out that this is not only never been fired obviously the that little circle in there would be indented in if there was if it had been fired uh, but it's actually around from Spitfire which is um, pretty cool so uh, we reckon that there's probably a uh, Spitfire which went down in the sea uh, off the coast there and uh, this washed up and uh, you may have heard things rattling around inside it that is this stuff, which we think <laughs> could be the cordite charge. So this is actually high explosive I'm handling here. I think it's probably quite inert now. But the other thing, <laughs> the other thing is in this box. Now this box uh, doesn't contain a 400 gigabyte SATA hard drive like it says. This box, I thought I'd lost it. Um, I was living in a house back in 2008 and I thought I'd left it there and I didn't see it for years and years and years until I think earlier this year when we found it when we were clearing out an old shed and I was so happy because this contains probably the coolest thing I own and some people might not think that it's that cool but I love it. Um, so, if I open it up, hopefully it's in here, yes it is, <laughs> this is so cool, right, this is a tooth, this is a fossilised tooth, this is the fossilised tooth of Megalodon, now, I'm sure a lot of people know what a megalodon is, but megalodon was a very, 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 very big shark. Um, type of shark that preyed on whales. I mean, this was, this was a big shark. Um, kind of give you an idea of scale. A great white tooth, a great white shark's tooth is about an inch to an inch and a half in size, like that. It's about that big. This is a bit bigger, and this is a little one. This is from a juvenile. The fully grown ones, their, plate, their uh, teeth would be like the size of a dinner plate. So this is from the scariest damn predator that lived in the ocean, and uh, relatively recently in evolutionary terms as well. So that's really cool. And you can even still see the serrations around the edge. Okay, I haven't had much of a chance to do much in the way of recording uh, this month for various reasons. One, I've had uh, huge problems with my uh, wisdom tooth, so I haven't been able to speak very easily. But um, there's also just not been a lot going on. I've been doing a lot of work on the stuff that I've done for the Christmas special, which should be going out in a couple of days. It's like the 23rd now? 23rd. 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 20. 1st, 22nd, 23rd, 23rd, yeah, Tuesday, 23rd, so it's the 23rd right now, and, um, yeah, I've just done some, um, <laughs> all the tidying and stuff that I did at the uh, beginning of the month has just gone to pot, because I just did uh, the recording for my, um, uh, the, the Christmas speed painting thing that I've done, um, which is, for me, the future, uh, but for you, it's the past, anyway, 
Um, as I was recording it, something really exciting happened. Um, got a delivery uh, of something that I ordered a couple of days ago, and it is right here. Cards Against Humanity. If you don't know this game, then you probably shouldn't. I got the original game, I got all the expansions which go with it, and the bigger and blacker box, which is the box that it all goes in. It's like a storage box for it. But I've heard a rumor about the bigger blacker box, and uh, that is that there is a secret card hidden within it. So we're going to see if we can find it um, just quickly. But yeah, it's going to be. F I, I don't want to tear into it, so I think I'm going to do it quite carefully. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I believe that the card is hidden in the roof. Actually, I can feel it. It's right in there. Yeah, right there. I can feel the edge of it right there. So, I'm going to try. I don't know how easy I'm going to be able to do this holding the camera. I've got a scalpel. I'm going to try and do this with a little bit of surgical, surgical precision. Right, where is it? Right there. <laughs> okay, here goes. And this is absolutely, I'm not playing with you here. The guys who do this box are notorious for playing tricks on people. But I can guarantee if this is real, I'm not <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's just Where is it? It's a bit further down, so I've made the cut a little bit high. Try. There we go. See that? It's a bit more of a cut. It's not a very good cut. More of a tear. There it is. And there it is. One card. You ready to see what it says on it? Admiring my father's Christmas hat. Oh, well, right, there you Isn't go. it? Absolutely glorious. Ho, 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 happy Christmas. <laughs> my Christmas hat is my hat. My brother's Christmas hat is... His pith hat. His pith hat. Pit to hat pit in. <laughs> it's a hat. Off on his jungle exploration. Good for oppressing natives. Yep. <laughs> Can't believe it suits him. It's just... Of course it just, does. It works Daniel beautifully. And hats, what is it? You put them in a hat and bang. No matter what the hat is, it'll probably suit this one. I nobody suits that hat, Dad. <laughs> so what have we done? Tell the people. We went to the pub. Went to the pub. We went to the pub. Ate lot. We ate far too much, and then we went to the pub. Yep. And now we're heading Just to make back. Make sure that we were properly full, uh -huh. which was of course agony. And now we're heading back to play some silly games. Apparently, and allegedly. We're playing. What? What? What have we got? Well, we've got Nidhogg, we've got Worms Crazy Golf. Worms Crazy we've Golf. We've got Hidden in Plain Sight. We've got many, many things. Mount your friends. Mount your friends, of course. Mount your friends. Uh, Several carrier bags. Cards Against PS2 Humanity. Game. Which will be an inter entertaining game. Entertaining time. Absolutely. Dive Kick. Dive Kick. What's that? Dive Kickle! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. It's a game about diving and kicking. Diving and Oh, this is the, the fighting one that you were saying yes. about. Oh. Well, I look you forward to... Two controls. Dive and kick. Now look at that. What Joyous. a glorious Christmas picture that would make. Well, somehow I've managed to find myself out in another woodlands. Back out in Dartmoor doing some filming. And uh, it's 
seems to be becoming a tradition filming out on the moor to end these vlogs but uh, I'm trying to get up there and all the paths leave away anybody seen the Blair Witch Project because I seem to have had the Blair Witch here a bit on the ominous side no kids bivouacking look at it all I'm guessing scouts or something bivouacking maybe who knows but I think I think I need to follow this path is it? Uh, native trees no that is not a path it's a tree yeah uh, I tried to do a little bit of filming around the place over over Christmas but uh, just didn't didn't kind of work out it didn't feel natural it didn't um, felt kind of forced I didn't I wasn't really in the mood to uh, to record so I didn't didn't get a lot of footage I did try I'd much rather I'd be I was in a position where I wanted to be recording I feel like it'd be more interesting for you guys uh, if I'm actually wanting to record rather than forcing myself to so yeah I decided to not continue filming over Christmas but I got a little bit of footage which no doubt I've either shown you or I'm going to show you or something okay so the sign saying Sheep store is to the right, but that is the path that I just came from which goes back to the car park and The sign to the left Says that sheep store Village is to the left whereas that's the one that points at sheep store It's right there I can see it <laughs> oh, Signposts around here are really dumb this is all ice. Actual frozen stream coming down the side of the hill. I guess that's why they call it Sheep's Tour. I can say thank you very much. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Welcome, man. Look at that sun dropping thing. there. It is a dropping wonderful beneath sun. The cloud. You know, that is holy, that is. It's like beat your chest and champs. It is, <laughs> man. We're up here. Look, look at that. You've got frost in the fields. You've got it's the ocean. Stunning. You've it's got the sun going down 93 million miles away. Mm. Wow. That's my kind of church, that. See, that's a wonderful little surprise to have coming to the top of the tour like that, coming over the crest and find those guys just playing to the sunset. What a treat. So I made it back to the car finally. It's getting really dark though, so I don't think we're going to have time to get out to Crazy Well. I wanted to get there when the light was fading, but not dark. And it's, it's definitely classed as dark now, so I'm going to leave this one here for now. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's been... Uh, not a huge bunch of stuff happening this month. I apologize for that. Next one will be a lot better. A lot more things happening in theory. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know. Leave me a like and comment down below. I hope you guys have a really, really good new year. And I will see you next time.